Hi, you're watching part two of the Note Caddy video series. In the first video, we looked at the types of notes that were created. And in this video, we're going to look how to customize them. So we're going to look at our notes again by going to Synchronize, Export Notes to Text File, and clicking No. In the last video, we looked at Ace Hoff's notes, and one thing stood out to me. We had a note indicating three betting range, but in that range we had Ace-King suited and Ace-King. These are fairly standard three betting hands, so they might not be noteworthy. If you have a player where you have thousands of hands, you might end up with a very long list, and it might not be efficient for you to look through all of them. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is make this a little bit more specific. The way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to go to Tools, Scripting, and I'm going to look at the three bets note definition on the left here. When you click a definition, all of the details come up here. The change that I'm going to make is I'm going to change three bets into three bets light. And you see that's the name here, which is just the file name and the name that shows on the list. And here the description is what will actually show up in the note box. So we'll put three bets light and then card range. And this is the variable where if you insert it into the description, it'll enumerate each uh, pair of cards that was seen in this particular note. So another thing we're going to check is take notes for opportunities. Because now what we're doing is we're just specifying three bets light. But what we want to know is how many times they three bets light versus three bets in total. So that's a little bit of a confusing concept, but I'll explain it a little bit better once we see the notes. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to modify the range for what I consider to be light. So I'm going to get rid of all of the hands that are very standard to three bet with. And this is obviously subjective. So in this case, I just got rid of the big pocket pairs, ace king suited and ace king. Any three bet with these hands is considered standard by me. So I don't consider it noteworthy. So now we're done with that. I'm going to close the scripting screen. I'm going to reset the notes. And after I've reset the notes, I'm going to go ahead and reprocess the first 10,000. So when you reset the notes, it starts over from the database. So what we're doing is we're actually processing the same 10,000 hands that we processed the first time. And you see it's still adding about the same amount of notes. So now that we've completed 10,000, we're going to go to Synchronize, Export Note to Text File again. And we'll look down at Ace Hoff now. And if we look at the three bets now, now it says three bets light, eight, eight. So only a hand that I considered light is showing. And we see the one out of three indicates that out of his three bets, two of them were cards that we don't consider noteworthy because they're not light. So we know he's 3-bet 8-8, eight, eight, which is you know, relatively weak compared to the big pocket pairs. But we know that 2 out of three, his 3-bets three were strong. And when he does 3-bet light, he does it with pocket pairs. So give, this gives us pretty much the same information, but in a more compressed format. So this is much more useful if you have a large number of hands on certain players. Now if we look in the HUD, You'll see that it updated, and we can see now that it gives us the information in the same form, just a little bit more readable. So these are the kind of customizations we should consider making for NoCaddy. Thank you. This has been part two. In part three, we're going to customize it a little bit further.